Chakotay reporting live. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news flash. Mayor Zhao has been kidnapped. He is currently being held hostage somewhere in the Globe Opera. Eyewitnesses say he was taken by mechanical creatures that emerged from Shang Mu's River Delta. What the? Guys, come quick! We've just received word that the military has been deployed to maintain order. Citizens are urged to remain calm and to stay in their homes. We're getting a call. On screen! Hello, friends! Uh, funny story. Well, not so much funny as completely horrifying! But you see... Okay, 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 so long story short, they're gonna kill me if you don't give them what they want, so please, 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 just do what they say and get me out of here! Magister, how I've longed to see that look in your eyes. Is that... a water dragon? That's impossible. What trickery is this? No trickery at all, Magister. Such deception would be the purview of your grandfather, not I. You speak nonsense. Truly? Then why not tell your students what's really going on? Poor Hatchling. I'd laugh if it weren't such sad irony. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to make sure you don't hurt anyone else. This land is protected! Hatchling. Have you ever wondered what happened to all of the water dragons? <sighs> Enough! What do you want? What I want is for you to answer for all that you've done! But for the time being, I have more pressing concerns. This is Bakunawa. Magnificent, is she not? But she is missing a vital component. The drone you call Pengu. The one that's in the room with you right now. I'd like to have it. Bring it to the Globe Opera. You'd better hurry, though. Red pandas are very much my favorite snack. See you soon. Magister. Who was that? Magister? Our worst fears realized. A merciless centurion from a time when our land was ravaged by war. A creature bred for battle, with a lust for bloodshed. Murga. So what's she need the robot for? Some kind of data in its memory banks, perhaps? Something crucial to the operation of this... Bakunawa. That pilot, Corazon. She demanded that robot as well. Kari isn't with her! There's no way she'd do that! If you say so. An unfortunate coincidence, then. Let me go after her! Please, Your Excellency! I acknowledge your strength, brave Dragonblood. But her power is unlike anything you or your companions have ever faced before. Still, perhaps there is a slight hope that she can be reasoned with. Somehow, I don't think she wants to talk. Yeah, and the thought of just giving her the drone gives my stomach the rumblies. What about the one we took from Snake Man? It looks just like Pangu. Maybe it could fool her? Yeah, a fresh lick of blue paint and nobody will tell the difference. A fair enough distraction. We must buy as much time as we can to free the mayor. But first, we need to find a way inside that won't draw attention. On screen! Come in, my Shang Tuzhen friends. This is Captain Kalau. Perfect timing, Captain. We have an emergency. I am aware of the mayor's kidnapping threat. I believe that together, we can quickly resolve this most dire of situations. You have our gratitude, Captain. Do you have the mayor's location? Indubitably. Mayor Zhao was last seen in the Central Theater area. We'll meet you there. Stay vigilant, friends. Anything could happen. This drone is dripping wet! This blue is not a judicious color. Yeah, that label probably meant 20 to 24 hours, not minutes, huh?
reaching the rendezvous point. Show yourself, you pugilistic physignathus. I, Captain Kalau, bring an offering of peace.
worry. If the captain is in trouble, we need to save Zhao right now. Mayor Zhao? Where are you? Say something if you can hear us! I smell someone. It's Captain Kalo! Captain! He's alright! Hey, Cap! Glad you could make it! Captain! Did you meet up with Murga? Did she fall for the decoy? Uh. Captain? There's someone behind him! <laughs> Cory! What are you in short stuff doing here? They're with the monster. What? That's crazy, scary lady. Wrong! We're all buddies and best pals over here. What? What the heck's going on? You're all working for Murga? Are you all brainwashed or something? No, Carol. Believe it or not, I'm doing this for you. Some injustices can never be forgiven. Where is Murga? Everyone, stand your ground! Right! Why can't I sense her? <gasps> so, Hatchling, you've come after all. Where is Zhao? Captain, if you'd please. He's okay! Let's get out of here! I think not. Now that all the players have gathered, it is time for this performance to end. But... but you have Pango, right? We did what you asked! We had a deal, Murga! The deal did not include distracting me so you could free this miserable speck of a man. Besides, even without my informant, I could clearly recognize the machine you brought as a fake. Whoa! Giant fish lady was a ghost? A hologram. She was never here in the first place. Take care of our guests. A delight, ladies. General, come in. Gong, do you copy? Nah, uh, uh, spoilers! Nothing's getting in or out thanks to my signal jammer playmate, casual acquaintance number 47! All fighters, fangs out! You're not actually going to fight your own sister, are you? Of course not. I would never hurt my beloved sibling. You, fight my beloved sibling. Of course. How is this any different? Captain, don't do this. Not only because I still think you're cool and stuff, but didn't I already beat you once the first time? That was the old Captain Kalau. A Captain Kalau that was holding back. Now, he has awakened his true strength with the flames of burning justice! Well, this is gonna suck. Come on, gang. Split them up and take them down.
a most invigorating warm-up, brave fighters. But the battle is just beginning. Behold! My greatest playmate yet! The BFF 2000! Fighters, form up! Three! Two! One! Activate! Activate. Beast 1, checking in! Beast 2, checking in! Beast 3, checking in! Combat mode, She'll be fine. We need to leave. Now! No, no, don't mind me. I have this perfectly under control. Wriggling to freedom is my forte. How did they get tighter? Gong, do you copy? Magister! Ascal! Anyone! Useless! This was a trap from the beginning! We need to get back to the Magister! Run, Dragon! As fast as you can! What about us? Don't worry. I have a cunning plan. Ah, uh, this is so uncool!
aside, Hatchling. He will answer for his people's crimes, and then we can talk. No! I won't! Not like this! There has to be a better way than this! Like what? Diplomacy? The art of offering one hand in friendship while the other holds a dagger behind their back? No. Never again. Earth dragons are schemers and liars! Lila, what's going on? Oh boy, a lot, I'm guessing. Your Excellency, what have they done to you? And so the cavalry arrives, just in time to witness your Magister's fatal indictment. Pascal, of all people, it was you? Sorry you had to find out this way, Nira. I'll explain everything later, but right now, the Magister has to go. I've already gone through the trouble of sparing one panda today. I don't intend to do so a second time. The lives and ideals of this kingdom are but an extension of my own. I will not yield! <laughs> you think to stop me? Come then, show me your resolve. We will bring peace and stability to this city at any cost! We will not bow down to traitors! Nira, stop! That's it! We're out of here! Let them go. We have what we came for. What about the Magister? He needs to answer for everything he's done! If he wants to prolong his suffering, then so be it. His time will come soon enough. And if any of his allies return... I will kill them. <laughs> no! No! That's enough, Nira! We've lost! Cowards! How could you all just run away? Nira, it wasn't a battle we could win. Right now, we have to get everyone to safety. Then we can figure out what to do. It's my home. It'll be okay, Lady Nira. Forgive me. We should get moving. I should have known better than to trust again. You have all done this world a great service. As long as my plans advance appropriately, your city will not be harmed. 
Bakunawa will rise. That scale must have been talking to them behind my back. Even as I was training him, I should have been paying more attention. <sighs> I failed my kingdom. It's a fish at fault when it takes a fisherman's bait. Perhaps. But the fisherman's role should not be ignored. Uh, okay. I think I get that, Magister. Of course, now I'm hungry. Me too. I'm starving! Wait a minute. Oh, I hope I still have them. The coupons! Free dinner! And shelter. Let's head to Shangmu. Your Excellency. It is a sound idea. Oh, it's you! Welcome! Uh, hi, Mayor Zhao. We're ready to redeem our coupons. Oh, oh, but of course! Just step right this way! Uh, uh, huh, um, who's that? That's the Magister, you rube. Pay your respects. Oh, <laughs> Boy, is this, uh, awkward. It's a long story. Can we explain it all inside, please? <sighs> oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. Come on. This is absolutely horrible! Catastrophic! Who's going to be my Battlesphere champion now?! A talking fish just took over all of Shang Tu, and that's what you're worried about?! Yeah. Oh, but also dibs on the Battlesphere champion title. So can we stay here? I suppose I could squeeze you all in the library. Follow me. Your Excellency, about what Murga was telling us, was any of that true? Yes. Why? It was a different time. We were at war. We had no choice. No choice? How was almost wiping out an entire race even a choice? There are no good choices in war. There is only survival, and the means to achieve said survival. Surely someone of your upbringing would understand that. Oh no! Don't you dare try and guilt trip me! I never killed anyone when I was in the Red Scarves! And yet, did you not behave in a manner contrary to your true self, simply because to do otherwise would invite the scorn of your peers? Did you not comfort yourself with the hopeless lie that you were a good person, in spite of the crimes you committed? The sins you inflicted? You don't know what you're talking about! You don't know anything! Hey, that's enough! That's still the Magister you're shouting at! Besides, this here is a library.
evening, my lovely fugitive guest. <laughs> Dinner is served. Mmm, delish. Oh man, I totally forgot how hungry I was. I'm not really that hungry. Not after what happened tonight. Speaking of which... <clears throat> tonight has not been easy. We have lost the battle, but the war is not over yet. We need to devise a strategy. Murga is a threat to all of Avalis. Yeah, and I doubt you'd want her coming to visit your city again, Zhao. <laughs> if that fish face so much as lays a single foot in my city, she'll be fried. Like, like this plate of fried plantains right here. Yeah, only more like blackened bananas, as these babies have clearly been cooked to golden perfection. Woohoo, pass me some of that, will ya? One moment. Here you are. Focus. So what do we know about Murga, anyway? I mean, what else? Murga comes from a time when Shang Tu was at war with the island nation of Perusa. She was uncontrollable, laying waste to entire armies single-handedly. My ancestors were unable to end her, but they did devise a way to contain her. They sealed her and her destructive potential away with the power of the Kingdom Stone. The Kingdom Stone? So when the stone was shattered, that Brevin, another calamity we can lay at his feet. But what else? Murga seems to be completely set on her vengeance. Why? All the water dragons are gone now. And then there's Bakunawa. Just what is that thing? There's so much we don't know, and the only people who can tell us are long dead. Oh, those people may be dead, but there's no reason why they can't talk. Well, not literally talk, I mean, but... My library has the largest collection of historical texts in all of Avalis. I'm sure I have a few books written by people who lived in those times. Wow, that sounds super neat. I'd love to read them. Certainly. Our rental fees are very reasonable. Then I will commit myself to research. Perhaps an answer to our current predicament lies within those texts. I'd love to help too. Um, if that's okay, Your Excellency. A second pair of eyes would be useful. Yeah, while well, you guys read, I'm gonna go find Cory and talk her out of this. What? Absolutely not. She's with them. That makes her our enemy. She attacked us, Carol. She put you in danger. Okay, fair points all around, but listen. I know how she thinks. It's all about money to her. If you, like, drop some moolah on me to bribe her or something, I'm sure she'd switch sides just like that. Everything you just said does not help your case in the slightest. A mercenary who would work for the highest bidder and change loyalties at the drop of a hat is inherently untrustworthy. I concur. It would be an unnecessary risk. Come on, we could use her help. She has that huge airship thing too. <clears throat> Don't mean to toot my own horn here, but uh, fastest airship in the country right here. We appreciate the gesture. And we shall avail ourselves of that service as well. Oh, well, I didn't mean... I mean, I guess I did mean... But it is settled. The mercenary is too great a risk. We must focus on the immediate task ahead of us. Assess the threat of Murga and stop this Bakunawa. <sighs> Corey's in big trouble if I don't do something. Hold on, sis. I'm coming. <laughs> 